Our vision for the world is that our children, our grandchildren, will live in a world which is more wild, more naturally diverse. They will have hope that we're on track to rectifying a lot of the harm that has been done to the climate and to biodiversity. And people will live more in harmony with nature. We have to find a new balance. We have to value the things that nature gives us. Nature is really critical. It's peace, it's health. It's an indication of society that is uh, harmonious. When you grow a forest, you sequestrate carbon. And the biomass is like a sink. Our mission is to restore habitats around the world. The Zulu Forest Platform is a vehicle um, that we created in order to be able to evaluate huge pieces of land in near to real time. We take under a minute to evaluate 10,000 hectares of land. We help the, the landholder, the stakeholder, to understand and to see that broader landscape of opportunity by regenerating natural environments. I've been working all my career in land management and forestry and woodland creation. When you actually see what they have developed and are able to use it, it gives me that excitement that we can get this done quickly. We're using the technology to look at, for example, like the whole of Scotland. You can firstly understand what attributes and characteristics that land holding has. So that's looking at your habitats, your infrastructure, your existing land uses, designations, soils and climactic data. It's about looking at the right land use that can be restored for that particular land holding. So you can be looking at peatland restoration, biodiversity uplift, but our predominant focus is on woodland restoration. We have to establish those woodlands in the right place. We can use technology to work out what's best. We then obviously you need to understand what you can plant. So that's matching the specific tree species to the specific site. We have got places that you can plant and it's preferable to plant. And there's places where we can actually promote natural regeneration. That's very much about the right tree in the right place for the right reason. Each species will have a different growth pattern, a different yield curve. You can model the amount of carbon sequestered over the project's lifetime, so a 100 year period. Having established where we can plant, what we can plant, we then need to understand how much is it going to cost and what the revenues look like. So from putting your land holding boundary into the platform to understanding what structures are available for the property takes less than a minute. The work that Zulu Forest Sciences are doing is it breaks down the barriers to accessing the carbon market. What we're doing with the technology is we're massively amplifying the impact that scientists, ecologists, uh, landscape engineers and landholders can have on the environment. What the uh, platform is able to do is provide complete transparency for all stakeholders. Each individual stakeholder has exactly the same information at the exact same project at exactly the same time. What I'm most proud of is to see this landscape reforested as it was a few hundred years ago. Our mission is to regenerate degraded land in the interests of nature, climate and people and we want to do it for the long term and the faster we can move now the more likely that that vision that we have is going to be realized.